cease. You cannot hold hands with a woman until you're married. What are you doing? But <laughs> it's perfectly fine to do it with a man. Well, good evening, <coughs> ladies, lads, and lasses. Welcome to the click. I do hope you're having an amazing day. Who am I kidding? I'm having an amazing day because you decided to join me. My God. Mm. Yes, indeed. Today we're going to look at r slash facepalm. Oh my god, it's a beautiful subreddit with beautiful posts and beautiful stories, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, just like you were. And I do hope that you enjoy it. Mwah. I am like so smooth in my intros, I'm like smooth like sandpaper. It's amazing. Oh! I had a consultation with a local company to paint their logo on their wall. I asked what their budget was. They looked at each other and said, I thought you did it for the art. I wasn't told we would have to pay. Bruh, you think anyone sits around painting corporate logos for fun? Check out a sweet IBM logo I just sketched. <laughs> Whoa! This is the equivalent of like Raid Shadow Legends reaching out to me, be like, "What? You want? You wanna be paid for the sponsor? I thought you just wanted to promote Raid Shadow Legends for fun." And no, this video is not sponsored by. <laughs> Dear God, they did reach out to, to me about 40 times, though, uh, so uh, there, there is that. Honeymoon Touchpoint. Hey, Blorp. Hope your honeymoon is going great. If you have a chance, can you give me a call for a five-minute chat to review where we stand on the Blorp in our update to Blorp? I'll draft something for you to review. Thanks. Have we gotten to the point where we have honeymoon touch points for for companies? <laughs> you know this vacation where you're not supposed to work. We we still have the, the mandatory meeting checkpoints throughout your vacation. That that you know is like paid days that that you collect. That it's actively counted into your hours and salary. <sighs> Life is more than just work. There we go, wholesome rant over, boom. Pharmaceutical giant. This medicine costs three dollars to make, but I'm selling it to sick people of 300 because I know that they can't refuse to buy it. Rich people, that's smart business strategy. Reddit user, this GameStop shares cost me three dollars each, I'm selling them to short investors for 300 each because I know that they can't refuse to buy it. The horror, government put a stop to this. Oh, here's a video. So here we got a little bit of like football. I love watching the ball kicking with the boys. All right, he goes for the goal. Oh my god, he gets it in. Heck yeah. Beautiful stuff. He's running around celebrating. Everybody's like, yeah, boy. And and he's he's just talking. Oh. I thought he was running to like wave to the audience. Did they already know what, what he was doing? Because they were like charging towards him from the beginning. <laughs> Has he done this before? <laughs> everyone just saw that coming. How? How did everyone see that coming? Oh my god. This is so bad. I was naughtily assaulted by a DoorDash driver today. And DoorDash is saying they can't do anything besides give me a $10 credit to my account. Woo! A $20 refund and contact me in 48 hours. This driver was caught doing the self-satisfaction over my food in his car, and Dordra simply said, ah, we'll investigate. That that's that seems like the kind of thing that, you know, it's it's a little bit serious. Unless you have asked for special sauce. This is like so far beyond any Oh my god. Jesus Christ. This is not even like, you know, DoorDash level. This is just like amazingly illegal. He cheated, so I threw his mom ashes into the river. Mmm, that's like, wow, that, that's a healthy relationship standard. Did you spit as well? What did his mom ever do to you? My god. Oh my god, he cheated on me in our very functional relationship, so, so I'm gonna desecrate his ancestral remains. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or maybe, you know, just break up. You know, cheating sucks, but, you know, stooping to the same level or arguably a worse level even for- I don't, I don't know about that, fam. I would- it's better to just go find, find a better relationship, dear god. Fifty dollars. Sixty. Uh, what? For the PlayStation. Mm? Just the PlayStation? No, everything. I am haggling, yo. Hi. Uh, my ad said the PlayStation 4 has two controllers, PC VR setup, and three games for $300. It said in the ad, no haggling. I won't respond anymore after this text. $300. Everyone haggles. $100 is the most I'm gonna offer. Yo, you're about to miss out on some serious cash. That amount of cash was way less than they were asking for that they weren't interested in. <laughs> that serious cash? Okay. This keeps going. This will be a good Christmas present for my brother, man. A hundred. Take it or leave it. Frick you! I'm reporting you're an ad and it's getting taken down because you can't reach the deal. I want a gift for my brother, so I should be able to buy stuff cheaper from you. Because that is 
Your problem now. Ha. <laughs> what do you mean everyone is haggling? You're just trying to shame them into selling something super cheap. And 300 bucks? It's pretty freaking cheap to begin with. This would be a good Christmas gift for my brother. Then pay the asking price. I'm sure it'd be a good Christmas gift for other people's brothers as well, and they'll pay. What a clown. Seriously, 300 for all that is a steal, assuming everything is functional. You know one of them controllers. Joystick is messed up, and the disc tray don't eject. Best I can do is $75. <laughs> That's the way you argue. Your controllers are sticky. We'd love. Maybe it was that, that freaking, uh, what was it, Uber Eats driver from the, from the <laughs> DoorDash driver from the last, oh dear god, no. Okay, moving on. Ah oh, yes, gotta look good for that Instagram. Ah, oh, the water everywhere. Okay, water literally everywhere. Mm, yes, indeed. That's gonna make for a good, like, behind-the-scenes clip as well. <laughs> you see? Being an online personality is not easy. When I try to twirl my hair with water, it usually doesn't work out. The median annual pay during the Great Depression was 22% of the cost of an average home. Today is 14%. That means that pay relative home costs made it easier to buy a home during the Great Depression than right now. This is absurd. Yeah, yeah, prices are uh, absolutely nuts. It's, um, it's ridiculous. I think I checked, like, in the cities in Sweden, in, like, the main cities, it, it's something like $10,000 per square meter or something like that. It's absolutely bonkers. It's so expensive. What is your rate? Uh, $220 an hour, but I pretty much charge by the piece. What do you have in mind? I want to get something on my leg covered up, but that's out of my price range. Well, okay. Ink Money, Big City, and Idle Hands are local shops with great artists if you want to shop around. I am out in the States at the moment anyway, so there would be a wait. Can't you cut me a deal? I'm a single mom. Lol. I don't give a frick if you run an orphanage, to be honest. <gasps> wow, frick you, dude. How about I let everyone know you're a jackpot? As a single mom who does freelance work, good on the artist. Believe it or not, there are people who won't take a no for an answer and will continue to waste your time looking for a discount. The kicker is that are usually people who are more than able to pay the price. Individuals, business, and non-profit entities who have more than adequate ability to pay are the ones who are most likely to attempt this. Yeah, that seems about right. I probably wouldn't respond the same way because it can so easily be taken out of context, but that's more like my you know, experience on the internet and paranoia about, you know, people trying to twist your words. Um, but it's also very true that if you're too soft on them, they will probably keep pushing because they think there's a chance to, like, win you over. So, I don't know. If they're not worried about that, go ahead. Just, just cuss them out and be, be rid of it. <laughs> so we have this dude. He's walking with a lamp. And the lamp top falls, <laughs> falls down. <laughs> and it's stuck on his head, but he, he doesn't know it went on the head. And he's trying to find it! Oh my god! That's so good! I mean, I would do the same. I would just assume it has rolled down the street or something. I would search for like miles. This- oh! Oh my god! He never came home that night, and to this day, he is still searching. If you're 25 plus with no kids, you're the problem! LOL! Whatever makes you feel better about being stuck in the house with them kids! You're the pro problem? Which, which problem are we talking about here? I mean, at least among my generation, where I come from, having kids after 25 is probably the norm by now. And also, like, what what problem are you <laughs> part of exactly? I don't know. I, I spent a couple extra years in school and then, you know, did some traveling or whatever. Ah, oh, you're part of that, th that unspecified problem. Outrageous. When the polio vaccine dropped in 1955, people lined up to get it, and we were two years away from artificial satellites. Now, in 2021, we carry external world brains in our pockets, and there's robots on Mars, and idiots think the COVID vaccine is full of wizard poison. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much true. Facebook. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful thing. I would love to do that at some point. Like, try to infiltrate, like, Facebook conspiracy groups and see, like, what kind of stuff I can convince them to do. That would be so funny. It's like, yeah, you know, e eat a ghost pepper a day for, for breakfast. That's gonna keep COVID away. And just see how many, like, insufferable home cures I can convince them actually works. Oh, that would be so much fun. How anti-immigration policies are leading prisons to lease convicts as field laborers. This is called slavery. You lease property, not people. And when people are property, they're the slaves. That is so wild. How is this a thing? That is insane. Pizza Hut has gone full woke. We must now make them full broke. This view? Cancel culture is ruining America. <laughs> No, no, but do as I preach, not as I do. Cancel culture is only a good thing when it's canceling something that you don't like. Oh, no, cancel culture in general is just kind of 
I don't know, sometimes it does the job, obviously, like outrage can be good when there's something very harmful going on, or for example, we've seen creators on YouTube be heavily manipulative or promoting scams or whatever it might be. And like, of course, if you do that and actively harm your fan base, like you probably shouldn't have a platform. But on the other hand, I've also seen so many cancellations that are just spinning out of control for no reason or something like taken out of context. I've seen people be cancelled for speaking another language. I've seen people be cancelled for allegedly saying a slur, but in reality they were just setting up a slur filter for a server. It's like, it's the most ridiculous things that people get cancelled for sometimes. I feel like the core issue with, with the whole thing like that is that it's not a system, it's not centralized. It's just however big the mob mentality becomes and how big the outrage becomes, the heavier the reaction. But there is no one in charge, there is no one deciding like, okay, the crime committed is this big, so they should receive this much backlash. It's like, no, sometimes the crime is this big, and like, no no one bats an eye. And sometimes it's like, oh, they said the mean joke, and it's like, oh my god, they should be doxxed, and that. It's like, ugh. All right, uh, yikes. The internet is beautiful in many ways, but this is probably not one of them. How long have you guys been together? Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, about six months. Mm -hmm. That's it, it's new. Oh, it's newish. Ooh. We're friends. <laughs> We're just friends, can Daddy. We, you want to... Can we talk about this uh, not in front of everyone, Jesse? <laughs> to, you can just see him die. I'm, it's complicated. I'm single, guys. I'm single. What? Is it? I can't tell if she's joking and he's kind of playing along with it, or if they're really that far disconnected about what the expectation of the relation is. This is so uncomfortable. Why would you do this publicly? Oh, God, no. Half a million kids in foster care and you want to ban same-sex couples from adopting? Remind me again how pro-life you are. Oh, my God. That is so weird. Oh, I hate that kind of stuff. I hate, oh. Oh my god, can you imagine growing up with two dads or moms or whatever? So traumatizing, am I right? There's nothing... Oh my god, oh. Much better to just leave people abandoned without families and stuff. Hup -de -dup -de. Imagine coming home with your report card and your parents do a react video. <laughs> Reacting to Oliver's report card. Family YouTubers are a breed among themselves, man, I swear to god. This is what happens when you put a penny in the microwave for two minutes. Woo, it shrinks. Yo, you just maybe start a fire in the house. <laughs> Dumb butt. 120 seconds is enough. When I was at school, some lads in my forum found out that if you put empty crisp packages in the microwave, they shrink to a couple of inches. Mini wrinkled crisp packages. Kinda cool. I did it too. There were some sparks and flames, but it literally only take a few seconds. Do what you will with this information, what you will, but don't blame me if you accidentally burn your house down. I bet there are like tons of experiment videos about this on YouTube. Yeah, jump down that roof and boink! Alright, that's fine. Just get back up. It's fine. It's fine. Sploosh! <laughs> These are beautiful edits. Oh my god, I love this. This is absolutely amazing. This just feels like a slap in the face on the saying like, if you get back down, just get back up again so your life can slap you down a second time. A wholesome vibes only on this channel. Who will be the next star of Hashtag The Bachelor R ranking? Woo! I have a sneaking suspicion that the next bachelor will be a dark-haired, square-head white man with a stubble and more on top haircut and inexplicitly cost $85. Meet Graydon, Braden, Drayden, and Okaden. <laughs> it's like carbon copies. It's, it's not that exciting of a cliffhanger. It's like, is it gonna be option A or option A? Ooh. It's 80,000 BC. You are immortal. The world is still frozen in an ice age. You decide to save $10,000 every day, never spending a cent. 82,021 years later, it's 2021. You still don't have as much money as Elon Musk? Tax the freaking billionaires! There is an interesting video by Steve Scott, I think, on YouTube that like really nicely shows the difference between really big numbers. And I think it's kind of necessary sometimes because the human mind isn't particularly good at comprehending big numbers. And we see this, for example, in comprehension with space travel, or we see this with very large numbers or economical questions, whatever it might be. It's very hard to comprehend numbers past a certain point because they don't mean anything. Like, oh, a billion, a trillion, it's like, sure, you can write the zeros down, but like actually imagining it is pretty difficult. Fox Guest says LGBT rainbow flag is just as offensive as the Confederate flag. They represent the exact same thing. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting take. Remember that time the LGBTQ people got together and plunged America into a bloody civil war so they could own straight people as property. I was raised on a gay plantation in the Bay Area knitting tiny sweaters for bitch until our hands bled. My parents died in the glitter mines. <laughs> oh my God. 
We were just collecting the fab until we succumbed. Monkeypox, please. I'd forgive you for calling for COVID, but now that it's trying to force another pandemic, <laughs> there is no excuse. Don't let a government take away your rights to keep you safe from basic flu. Despite what the corrupt media tells you, it's not just crazy conspiracy nuts against them. My IQ is certified top 12% and I fight for freedom too. All right, so your source material for a vaccine argument is your IQ test, all right? <clears throat> Let's take a look. Result, your IQ is 83. Your IQ is in the top 87%. Oh. Okay, I see. Well, to be fair, IQ is hardly an accurate measure for overall intelligence. It's like heavily criticized. It can give you an inkling, an idea of like, ooh, should I per do a field in math or whatever? Like, sure, it has a correlation, but it's hardly a perfect measure for overall intelligence. But I will criticize you for not understanding the most basic bell curve, and hence I will not take your argument seriously. <laughs> so, cease. <laughs> All right, gotta toss the basketball. Woo, for the uh, gram and the, uh, oh. I'm gonna be honest, that's like more impressive than just scoring the goal. Cause you have to hit like two things surprisingly accurate with the exact right amount of force. That's less likely than just making the score. This is, a, I'm, I'm impressed. A century ago, California banned Native American tribes from the traditional practice of controlled burns. Now officials say reducing the risk of wildfires mean restoring good fire, much like the state's tribes once did. Oh, so the people that lived there for centuries knew what the frick they were talking about? Imagine that! How gun control works! One, a wolf attacking a sheep, killing it. Two, other sheep see that the sheep was killed by teeth. Teeth are dangerous, all the sheep agree to remove their teeth and turn them in. The wolf still has teeth. Well, the, like, the, the, like, the equivalent of this would be, you know, every single person literally packing heat everywhere, all at once. Like, every school child would, would be... <laughs> like, no, this, this is so weird. <laughs> no. And also, some guns are made for chewing meat, and some guns are made for chewing, chewing vegetables. <laughs> hey, honey, I brought you a salad. I shot it myself. About 40% of Americans believe humans and dinosaurs existed at the same time. Okay. Explain this picture then, and don't say it's a Photoshop. They didn't have it back then. <laughs> it's a painting. <laughs> what do you mean they didn't have it back then? What are you talking? Oh my god, you can. Fo are you serious? Do you know that I can Photoshop a photo from like the 1950s? You don't have to Photoshop it in the exact same age. Photos aren't like magically locked from being Photoshopped because they're not being Photoshopped in the same year they were initially taken. What? God, what are you smoking? I want some of it, please. Little did this girl know that someone was behind the tinted window she was using as a mirror the whole time. Oh, yeah. Why are you using a... <laughs> I love she doesn't even say anything. This feels very staged, but <laughs> I hope it's not. That's super funny. Why would you do this in a car if you can't tell somebody isn't there? Oh, no. This is just asking for trouble. Oh, or, I mean, by trouble, I mean, like, someone seeing you picking your nose, which is, uh, I guess, bad enough. This is called art. This is the legacy and heritage of the West. This is what men in the West fight, sacrifice, and die for. This is victory. And here's a statue of a lady. Is there an example of a female sculpture committed herself to the same level of detail that a male does with a woman? <laughs> None that come to mind. That sculpt is an act of worship before heaven, and it shows. The sculpture is a Chinese woman, you dork-ass losers. Okay, so it's not even, it's not even like Western. And it's not made by a man. You didn't like get a single point of your argument right. <laughs> All right, fam. All right. Making a girl believe that you like her just so you can do the naughties with her should be classified as naughty assault. But nobody's ready to have that conversation yet. Tricking men into paying for dates when you have zero interest should be felony larceny too. Gosh darn it! Just be nicer to each other! It's like, be being a butt, being an a-hole, is most of the time not illegal. But you still shouldn't do it. It's just like manipulative and stupid. I don't know, these, these kind of arguments always feel like such a trap. Like, it feels like they always want you to take a side, you know? It's like, oh, if you say this is bad, then you're on the other side. No, like, but both, both things are silly. Please, no, stop. Under Texas law, it is illegal to own more than six dildos, but you can own as many AR-15s as you want with no training or license. Wait, do, do they actually investigate this? I just imagine one morning the cops knocking on your door and like, Sorry sir, we had a call about an alarming number of dildos being reportedly housed here at your property. We have a search warrant. Can we please come in? Is this something that happens? 
<laughs> oh my god. Study three years for a degree. Study three more for a PhD. Join lab, start working. Spend years studying problem. Form hypotheses, gather evidence. Test hypotheses, form conclusions. Report findings, clear peer review. Findings published, reported, impress. Guy on internet. BS! My Facebook mom group uh, said that the vaccine contains Gabunga Donga, and that means evil stuff. All our thoughts and prayers. Oh, I've are seen with this the, one. Uh, the people in Colorado. His thoughts and prayers are with them. Our deepest thoughts and prayers. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. My thoughts and my prayers. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims. The thoughts and prayers. They need our thoughts, our prayers. Extend our thoughts and prayers. This is not the first time. Our thoughts and prayers. The people of Orlando, they're in our thoughts and prayers. We hope you'll set your DVR so you mm. never miss an episode. Our thoughts and prayers today are with the victims and survivors yeah. of Las Vegas. Our thoughts and and prayers. That makes a That's difference. A Thoughts point. and prayers make a difference. Yeah, Our obviously. Yeah, you just have to do it for another beach 20 years. It's going to be fine. El Paso and Dayton. Our thoughts and prayers should obviously be with the 10 victims. And what, what, what can Congress do? I mean, our, certainly our thoughts and prayers. Whoopi Goldberg, who's saying she's going to punch someone in the face if she hears another Republican offer thoughts <laughs> and prayers. Really, Whoopi? <laughs> okay. Okay. Thoughts and prayers, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, Words are very easy. You can literally say anything, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it does anything. I think that's the takeaway for, for a lot of things. This just seems like the empty platitudes you say to, like, people at the office. Just, oh, good morning. Oh, what was your weekend like? Nice weather we're having. It's like these nothings you say to just seem polite and fill out time, but it doesn't actually hold much meaning. Friend has been complaining about finding an avocado on his lawn every day for weeks now. Why would someone keep throwing avocados in his yard? Why would you do that? You guys, he just realized he has an avocado tree. Are you angry at a plant? <laughs> Meet Suzanne, the woman who will beat the billionaires into space without a rocket. So here we got gas containers and a smoking cigarette. Isn't there like an old story or an old tale that there was some kind of ancient king that really wanted to try to go to the moon or something? So they packed a bunch of explosives underneath a chair and kind of went poof. I don't think it went too well, to be honest, if the story is true. That plan really fell to pieces. <laughs> you might say that it really blew up in their face. I thought I was meowing back to my cat for the past hour, but it turns out it's just me and my dad meowing at each other from different rooms in the house. <laughs> it is not even a cat anymore, the cat just left. Me speaks in Latin. Customer. You can't speak Spanish, you aren't Mexican. It was Latin. I heard you say some Spanish words. A lot of Spanish is based off of Latin. No, it's based off of Mexican. <laughs> Oh my god, how did we become the dominant species on this planet? We shall never know. <gasps> Gonna celebrate, this my diploma, yay! And, uh, goodbye. Oh, that stinks. Oh my god, and the worst thing is that I feel like this is something I could definitely do myself. This is so painful. If you know how to paint, charge $50 per room, paint 10 rooms per month. That's 100k per year. Uh -huh. Also, if it was that lucrative, why would you stop at like 10 rooms per month? Why wouldn't you pay like one room per day? That sounds better. But also, <laughs> so 10 rooms per month, that's like, what, 120 per year? So 120, that's 1,200 times 5, so $6,000. How did you round 6,000 to 100,000? Where did all the even tens come from? <laughs> what? Easy money, hashtag business ideas. This literally has 145,000 likes. 145,000 people found this <laughs> financial advice helpful. Oh my god, the pain. Okay, very well. It's gone. I deleted it. Well, have a good night, I guess. Thanks. And if you really are thinking about uh, the self-harmies, here's a number. Hey, I called the number. I'm getting much needed help. Uh, thank you for everything. Nice. I'm glad you're feeling better. But here's the sad part. Did you think I was actually the real blorb? <laughs> I'm a troll. Lol. I didn't call those stupid number. <laughs> Ooh, that was got him good. Yeah, ye. That that's nice. Yeah, you know, taking advantage of a stranger's genuine concern for someone's well-being. That's got him good. <laughs> what a master prankster. So here we go. We're gonna go fishing. Hell, you're gonna charge that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That looked so funny! It was the entire body! It wasn't even like a small step over, he just flung his entire body. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god. If fishing success was determined by like how hard you slung the thing, he would have caught all the fishies by now. Damn. Why do the women never have to take a DNA test to see if it's their child? I have no hope for humans anymore. But equality, am I right? If if we have to prove it for the we have to prove it for both. I am outraged. <laughs> That's like a male individual calling up their female ex and being like, Sup, girl, um, we have a baby. <laughs> She's like, what? I repair electromechanical equipment. I once had a guy tell his son right in front of me, This is why you go to school, so you don't end up like him. Then I told the poor guy that my job requires a degree. He just stood there and stared. Well, if, even if that wasn't the case, like e even if you do like, you know, you're a teenager working, you know, your first job in a McDonald's register. It's like, why, why would you even do this? Look at that loser team. It's like, it's so mean and rude and what? And no, a statue of homeless Jesus sleeping on a bench was installed in Orlando where the homeless are banned from sleeping on benches. Well, you see, it's, it's a message about, about the, about the things that uh, indeed, the Ukrainian team sing their national anthem draped in Ukrainian flags. <laughs> not for long, flag. That's not even a Russian flag, you idiot lol. <laughs> oh my god, why are you doing this to yourself? It's just so stupid. 100% compostable because I care. <gasps> Uh, plastic in product. This feels like that, what was it? It was like a plastic, no, it was a paper bottle. So like, I am paper bottle. And it was just a paper wrapper around a regular plastic bottle. They just tried to like market it as something environmentally amazing. Oh, dear God. Uber facts. What ruins any movie instantaneously? <laughs> woke shite, dark scenes, and for me, no subtitles, being deaf. Hates woke shite, demands inclusion of a protected group. <laughs> no, you see, it's only woke shite if it's not for me. Mm. This clock uses shadows to tell time. Oh good, Tech Bros invented a sundial. <laughs> Woo! That's gonna be the new thing. Oh my god, this thing is like solar powered clock. Super environmentally friendly, it's just a stick. <laughs> Breastfeeding your daughters is wrong, as it provokes lesbian attraction. I'm sorry, what? You should breastfeed your son, however, as it opens him to desire to women early on. Yeah, but it's, it's like your own mother, what? What? You should breastfeed as much as possible so your son can see what he should be attracted to and he'll be able to experience naughty arousal from a young age where he will feel attracted to boobs and whammons. Because, because you were a baby, barely conscious of your surroundings, just having food like, you know, any other literal animal does, you know, or at least mammal, I suppose. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I remember that news article from last year, you know, the rampant lesbian problem in your local dog population because they fed their younglings. This is so wild. Oh my god, can we get this guy to go into a debate with that lady who claimed that in four generations everyone is gonna be gay and just have them go at it for what the reason is? That would be so much fun, like, you know, oh, no, it's the gay agenda. It's like, no, 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 it's because of breastfeeding. <laughs> I just want to see them go at it. It would be so much fun. United States, 12 inches to a foot, 3 feet to a yard, 1,760 1, yards to a mile, 16 ounces to a pound. Fahrenheit, 32 to, to 12, from freezing to boiling. Month, day, year, and here's the rest of the world, 1,000. And Celsius, 0 to 100, and day, month, year. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's weird. Um, I still don't understand the, the imperial system. I, I haven't really bothered memorizing it. I still, I still use converters online because of it. Man, the scales are all messy. Condolences to anyone else to learn it. Oh my god. I still remember when I had an American friend that told me something like, you know, oh, we have this... What, what, what freaking was it? It was some, some kind of to-me-to, -to, something like that. It was like a rhyme rule for remembering like how many, like, to-me-to. -to. So I don't even remember what it was. And I'm just sitting there like, yeah, we just add a zero every time. So anyway... So here are some politicians. They're gonna introduce a new walkie. And the lady on the left is also just doing a straight line. What? what? This is just all over the place. This crossing is gonna look so... It's just like random lines in all kind of angles. What on... That's gonna be the worst crossing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, do you realize doxing is a crime? Please show me the law. Here's the law. I am not reading that. <laughs> I am still right in my mind because I can't read. 
An unknown neighbor told the cops I was growing weed in front of my window. Here's a photo of my mint and rocket. <laughs> And what is that, like strawberry plants as well? Officer, he's smoking strawberries. Please arrest him. Excuse me, is this Anna's number? I'm so sorry, this is Toby. Sorry, Toby, just changed my phone and not sure if I entered the correct number. Have a nice day, hope that doesn't bother you. Uh, no problem, good luck finding Anna. Thanks, you're so kind. I should let my secretary find the number. I'm Tina, may I know your name? It's, uh, it's still Toby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not easy to remember names, okay? So we got a little marathon coming here. Yeah, gonna show off and the other guy pass him. I don't understand why people keep doing this. I've seen probably a hundred videos like this by now, where someone is like obviously in the lead, but does something silly and goofy towards the end and then they lose the race. It's like, haven't you seen those videos too? <laughs> why are you tempting fate? Literacy in the United States, 79%? Is this real? 21% of American adults are illiterate or functionally illiterate. According to the U.S. Department of Education, 54% of adults in the United States have literacy below the sixth grade level. What? Are you... Okay, wait, I have to... Is this, is this real? Is this clear? Nationwide, an average of 79% of U.S. adults are literate in 2000, 2022. And it hasn't changed in three years? What? Commas are important people! Commas aren't people! <laughs> <laughs> the irony! Oh my god! The Maybe that's part of the joke. I'm gonna assume it's part of the joke, and it was very haha. -ha. High school shooters compete nationally. Like, formulations are very important. Like, wording is delicate in certain instances. And this is definitely one of them. <laughs> Why would you publish this news article? <laughs> this was broad broadcast review and editors are like, yeah, looks good, Steve. Publish that bad boy. Whoa. They just want you to think that all of a sudden the entire population uh, is steadily turning gay or turning trans. Just uh -huh. generation, generation. Probably in about four or five generations, no one will be straight anymore. Okay, okay. Everyone will be either gay or trans or non-conforming or whatever the <laughs> list of 50 or 60 different what? options there are. Okay. <laughs> it's not like overpopulation is a massive issue. But also, no, the, the, the gay agenda isn't about turning everyone gay. Like, God, that's like, that's like basically half the argument that, no, you don't choose what you are in that way. You don't just madly turn someone gay just as the argument is the other way around that no you can't turn gay people straight just by doing some some debauched therapy that's a hundred years outdated it's like jesus christ that's like half the argument but on top of that yes the stats have increased in the last few years with more people identifying with the lgbtq and stuff but the argument can also be made that no it's not because more people are just turning gay you're just making a false correlation the more likely scenario at least if you just look at it with some common sense is that we are increasing the acceptance in society which means that more people People are comfortable coming out. There are less people having to live their whole life in the closet if in fear of retaliation, harassment, physical threat, or losing their jobs or being ostracized by their family. The more acceptance we have, that number will increase because you have more people who are willing to publicly state that they are part of the LGBTQ, so you will see a spike in the statistics. But I don't know. Where did you get this argument? This is so otherworldly. Oh my god, this is the kind of stuff that like an alien would say, like, let's try to post to the social media and see how humans react. That's a fun experiment, right? <laughs> this is so... Who are you even arguing against? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, the goal is that everyone should be gay in five generations. <laughs> what? Ohio GOP passes bill aiming to root out suspected transgender female athletes through genital inspection. I'm sorry, what? Columbus, Ohio, House Republican lawmakers in Ohio passed a bill Wednesday night that will ban transgender girls and women from participating in high school and college athletics. It also comes with a verification process, blah, blah, blah. Whatever shall we do about... Oh no, I know. Let's take the pants off of children and, and investigate their genitals. Oh, wow. That is such a good salute. Why didn't anyone else think of that? Oh my god. Can I be honest? I'm used to the boring plain Jane white girls. <laughs> I didn't know your ethnicity, but you are one hot brown animal. I can't lie. Did you just call me an animal? A hot one. Where are you from? Don't be all sensitive. I voted for Obama. <laughs> uh, that's, that's not how this works. Not in the... Uh, cease, good sir. What's your brain no malfunction this day? Oh no, 
Two stars. The author made a major error. <laughs> the novel was set in Virginia during two time periods, the early 1940s and the summer of 2020. Chapters alternate between the two time periods. The story was enjoyable. But every time I came to a chapter set in 2020, I asked myself, when is the author going to say something about COVID-19? The answer is never. I find that very disturbing and distracting. The author apparently wrote the book before the pandemic and made the assumption that summer 2010 would just be like other summers, with large wedding parties, no social distancing, etc. Bad assumption. Hey, writers. Just FYI, don't forget to predict the future in your books. Is this person gonna watch like every sci-fi movie from the 1980s? <laughs> and like, why don't we have flying cars? And like, still have phone booths basically, but with lasers. <laughs> why don't we? Ah, uh, so, so outrageous. To my blind followers. And a bunch of hands. How are they supposed to read this? It's sign language. Are you dumb? Yeah. The sign language for, for the blind people to read. I'm smiling through the pain. So here's an official that's going to like a playground for kids, very nice, and he's gonna help them playing chess. Oh, this is very, very cute, look at that. They're, they're playing chess and he's gonna step in and like show them how it's done, how, how the adults know how to play the game properly. Oof. This is gonna be good. <clears throat> game of the masterminds. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Uh-huh. <laughs> did you? <laughs> did you? <re> <laughs> Wait. So you guided him to make a move. <laughs> he instantly got checkmated. <laughs> and a kid is gonna remember this forever. Hey, Timmy, do you remember when that like local famous politician came in and <laughs> and tried to make you win the chess game and <laughs> just made you lose in one move? <laughs> It's not even like a bad move. It's a horrendous move. It's the worst one you could have made. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Why is it a smart choice for you to visit our salad bar? Sir, produce are grown in Georgia. Mm, fresh quality produce. Hey, choices of salads. Hey, choices of toppings. It's healthy for you. You try. No, I don't even think you try. This is absolutely miserable. June is almost here. Oh, it's all the rainbows. Tesla team celebrates Pride Month. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the first meme is pretty funny, but, but it's like, <laughs> you can't, okay, okay. Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and as much as I enjoyed having you here. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day because you deserve it, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.